Hello friends welcome to slides and cells and today we will see how to make these amazing slides i will provide a tutorial of how to make this slide and at the end of this lecture will provide you how to get these templates from the description so let's try jump right in and see how to make all these slides Now first we will go into home and select a blank slide. Then we will go into design tab and then format background, a solid fill and we will fill it with a light gray color. After that we will get into shapes and choose a rectangle box. and we will fill the entire slide with this rectangle box the shape the fill will be white and the shape outline will be no outline once this is done we'll get back into insert and choose a text box and we will spread it across the slide as shown below then we will type the word that we want in our case profit we will select it and bring it to the center we will change the font type to tw cent and increase the font size to 270 it will look something like this it will fill the entire breadth then we will fold it bring it up bit to the top and then adjust it a bit by taking it to the left the top yeah a left this is where i want it Now I will select the box and this word together. Get into formats, merge shape, and combine, and we get the first effect that we wanted. After this, we'll get into insert shapes, and I will choose a straight line. Using shift, I will draw a straight line. Once this line is drawn, I go. go into shape outline change the color to blue and then increase the weight to four and a half points after this i will right click format and then into cap type choose round close the format now in insert tab i will choose a text box and i will make a text box at the right corner put 81% then i will change the font type to tw cent and increase the font size to 36 i will make it bold then i will make some adjustments and change the font type and the font color to the blue same as that of the line after that we will adjust it we will choose the line and the number 81 group them together by control g and bring the line very close to the bottom of the word profit make some adjustments now i will go to insert shapes and choose a rectangle box the box will be right below the line as shown here i will adjust the length and draw the box as shown out here shape outline will be no outline and shape fill will be the same blue as that of the stack now i will take the box very close to the line and then send it back the box is in the background Now we are done with the design part. Now we'll start with the animation. I will go into the animation, click on animation pane, then I will choose then I will choose the line and put give it a fade effect. After that, I will choose that line again, add animation, go below to the motion part and select a line. This will bring it down now i will go into the options 
and select to go up. Then I will go into the effect options and there I will increase the smooth end and then hit OK. So it will have a smooth end effect. Then right click and after previews, I will choose the rectangle box, add animation and go to motion paths, pick up a line. Again, go to the effect options and choose up. I will right click on it, effect options, increase the smooth effect, hit OK and start with the previous and it will show it the effect as shown out there. Now if you look at the effect, it will look something like this. The fade effect comes in and it goes to the top. Now if you want, you can add more effects to it by going out there. Right click on it, effect options and hit auto reverse. What this will do is it will take it to the top and then bring it back down. Similarly, it can be done for the rectangle effect options. There you will go, hit auto reverse and hit OK. Then it, as you can see, it will go up and then come down. This will give it a great effect and if you can see out here, as it is shown, it will go up and after that it will come down. You can add one more effect by making it fade. You will click on it, add animation, go to the exit and choose fade out. You will right click on it and start after previous. Now we are almost done with it. We will take the top slide, from the top slide we will take the text, paste it out here and we are done. As simple as that. Now we will see the entire effect. The fade in comes in goes up, it will come down and then it will fade out. We can have the same effects as shown below. We have seen this before and these are the effects that can be done fairly easily. For the revenue, we have done this with the color blue. For growth, we have used the color green. And here we have used a bright Right. and all of them show a great effect. Thank you for watching the tutorials from Slide and Cell. The link for the free template is given in the below description. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked our video, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment on our videos. Thank you now. See you next week.